you've ever wondered how to choose the best makeup brushes for your makeup kit, this video is for you. From amateur to pro, having the right makeup brushes is key, not only for a better makeup application, but also for efficiency. Have you ever been into a makeup store, seen brushes and tools and thought, I don't even know what I'm supposed to have. Where do I start? Where do I stop? What should I be spending? What do I really need? There's a lot of confusion around what brushes and tools that you need in order to do your makeup. If I'm being honest, you're probably gonna get a different answer from everyone. However, I'm your personal makeup bestie and I will not lead you astray. My name is Megan Brown and I have been a professional makeup artist since 2010 and I specialize in teaching how to enhance your features while looking natural in a minimal amount of time. So subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Today's video is all about the basic brushes that you need in order to create your makeup application. I'm gonna break this down into five different sections, so let's get started. Part one, how to care for your brushes. Cleaning your brushes is essential to owning makeup brushes and helping them last as long as possible. Wet washing them will ensure that they are fully clean and ready to go every time you go to use them. I like to use an antibacterial soap and I always make sure that the bristles are facing down. You never want the bristles to face up towards the water, always down so that water does not get trapped into the ferrule of the brush. Once you've massaged the brush and all of the product and soap is removed, you're gonna want to lay the brush flat over a ledge so nothing is touching the bristles. This is gonna help your brush dry faster and also make sure that bacteria does not get trapped into the brush as it's dry. Part two, what type of basic brushes you need? Need some type of blush or powder brush. A soft blending brush is 100% necessary and there are times where I actually like to use two within one makeup application. In addition to using a powder and blush brush, I like to use a more precision powder brush in order to get a little closer to my eyes when I am setting my makeup. A smudge brush is always going to be handy and a smaller blending brush is always helpful, especially if you have smaller eyes or hooded lids. As a professional makeup artist, I use a lot of brushes within an application, but for my personal application, I try to keep this minimal. That way I have fewer brushes to clean and keep up with, but also I don't need a lot of brushes in order to create my daily look. Part three, what type of brushes you don't want. General note, if the bristle color does not exist in nature, it is probably going to be a little harder to work with. They make blending out product a little more difficult than it really needs to be. And you might be asking yourself, why did she not recommend a foundation brush or a sponge? When I do makeup on clients, I do use a foundation brush and I do like to use a sponge. However, when I am talking to everyday people that are going to be doing their makeup, I don't really like to suggest or recommend using these two items, mainly because you probably won't wash these brushes too often. When you don't regularly clean foundation brushes, concealer brushes, or beauty blenders, they will just harbor bacteria and then you'll be spreading it onto the rest of your face. If it hits just one blemish, you will literally be creating possible future breakouts, which is not going to be fun. Part four, techniques and how to practice. I'm gonna switch gears and actually show you how to practice using makeup brushes. A good way to practice with your powder or blush brush would be to get the product on the tip of the brush, work it in, and when you actually apply it onto your face, you're gonna do small little circular motions going up onto the cheek. When using the precise powder brush, you are going to work some powder into the brush. See how I am moving the brush as I'm grabbing more and more product. I'm going to tap this brush off. You can also hit it like this. You'll see all the excess powder come off before applying it onto your skin. And what I like to do is press it into the skin, especially when it's closer to my eyes, instead of going back and forth. I'm gonna show you two different ways to use the smudge brush. Starting first with eyeliner. Let's apply some eyeliner at the base of the lid. And when you go to blend it, you are going to focus on smudging out the outer edge of that liner. Once you have smudged out your eyeliner, you can then get a like color or a darker color. Let's go with the brighter purple color. Work it into the brush a bit. And then what you'll do is just set it and drag it and continue to do the same. So this is going to make that eyeliner pop even more with the color and have a nice gradient effect. With my soft blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a neutral color, work this into the brush, 
And then what I would do is start doing little circular motions above the other products that we used. You can also go over the entire look to again, just help blend that product out. But little circular motions when you're first blending and then you can go back and forth. One last quick example of using the smaller blending brush for anyone that has hooded lids or smaller eyes or not as much space from lash line to crease or crease to brow, you can get very specific with placing product, but you're gonna wanna keep your eyes open. You can place product here. You can blend out anything that's too dark. You can apply a little bit of eyeshadow underneath the eyes. There are many ways to use this brush, which is why I think it is super important to keep within your basic makeup brushes. Part five, where people go wrong with their tools. Having too many brushes is almost as difficult as having none. Even if you have 20 makeup brushes that are amazing, I am willing to bet you probably only gravitate to a couple few go-tos. You might as well just narrow down the amount of brushes you have to ha only have a select few that you can do multiple looks with. The second mistake that I see is that people don't switch their angles in order to put their makeup on better. So what I mean by that is when you are applying into the crease, either look straight ahead or look down, closing your eyes is going to make you place your products out of bounds with your shadow or eyeliner when your eyes are closed while you're doing makeup. So instead, switch your angle so then that way you can see better. Don't try to look straight ahead in the mirror with your brush blocking your sight while you're doing your makeup. You can have a hand mirror to switch your positions. This is gonna be the easiest way for you to really be able to see what you're doing and make it so much easier for you when you're using your makeup brushes. If you found this video helpful, share it with a friend and comment below and let me know what your biggest aha moment was. I literally love to hear from you and it helps me understand what you like to learn when it comes to your makeup application. See you soon.